guys, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today I'm going to show you how to play Ito Copilla in Bisa. This song is pretty easy to play. As you saw in the demo, I was just moving around three or four chords around this G shape, um, you know, chord shapes over here. So to play this song, you need a capo on the third fret and then you're ready to go. We need this to be in the same key as the original track. And I'm also going to show you the melody that I was playing, um, the second guitar over the chords. So we're going to learn that in the end, like always. The song begins with the verse. And for the verse, we're just going to strum each chord once, OK, for the beginning of the song. So I took a pill in the knees. Show me chance, cool. So just strumming all chords once. The first one is G major. So to play that chord, you need third fret on the top string, second fret on the fifth string, open and open, and then you're gonna have third frets on the first two strings. Okay, so that's the version of G that we're gonna play in this song, and then go to D. So for D major, open on the fourth string, second fret, third fret, second fret. On the D major and you come to C at 9. So C is very similar to G. You got this shape, just move it down one string and you got third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fourth string. Third string is open. And then go back to G. Okay, so I took a pill and come to D. Come to C at 9. Go back to D. G. I'm living out in LA. Go back to G. Come D again. C at 9. Come to G again. 2, 3. You don't want to be high. And you start strumming in that part, which is the chorus of the song. It's very long, and we're going to come to E minor then. Okay, so E minus 7, you can either use this version, but in the song, it sounds better if you, you know, let these fingers be on the third fret of the first two strings and just change the chords with these two fingers over here. So you're going to have E minus 7, second fret and second fret on the fifth and fourth strings, open on the third string, and right here you have your third frets, all right? So you go from E minor to D to C at 9, G. Okay, now the strum pattern goes like this. You don't want to be Okay, so it's down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, once again, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. D down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You know, you can do little variations over here. Um, down, up, down, up, down. And then for the rest of the strum pattern, you can make it like a D sus4 by bringing in your uh, pinky finger on the third fret. Up, down, up, down. Okay, so that would be down, up, down, up. And put it right there. Down, up, down. C at 9, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, back to G, down, up, down, up, down, okay, so again, the chorus, you don't want to be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, go to D, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, you know, you can do another down, up, during the transition to the next chord, so that would be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, 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 up, down. Then once again, you don't want to ride the bus like this. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now here you go C at 9 one more time. Instead of G, you stay on C at 9. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you go to the next part of the chorus. Here, 
instead of E minor, you move to G major. That's the only difference in the next part of the chorus. All right, so you start on G major, down, up, down, up, down. Once again, G, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, D, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, And then for the next verse, again, you can switch it up, go back to a single down strum on each chord, and I'm just a Go to D, C at 9. Variation down, 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 up. Go back to G. Down, 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 up. Then you go to the chorus of the song. Again, you don't want to be E minor, right? Again, up, down, up, down, down, up, D major, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, C at 9, up, down, up, down, down, up, G major again. Now, just in case if you're wondering what about that instrumental part, that um, electronic part that comes right after the chorus in the um, electronic version of the song, there's two versions of the song. Uh, the one is uh, the more famous version, which is electronic music and the next one is the acoustic version uh, which is also out there on YouTube. So there's two versions but in the um, main version which you can call the the more popular version there's this um, you know tune that comes after the chorus da, 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 da. here you're gonna start playing the same uh, chord progression from D minor to D to C at 9 to G okay so don't worry about that just keep playing these same chords da, da, da. In case you want to, I know sad songs, you know, keep playing the same parts. back to the second verse okay so that's cleared up okay so now you know how to play the whole song you know how to play the verse the chorus there's two parts to the chorus and then the instrumental part as well if you want to go with that version okay now let's learn how to play some of the lead stuff that I was playing during the demo for the chorus so it goes a bit like this um, there's two parts to this so the first one is this part again so basically we are starting out on second fret of the third string we go to the fourth fret of the third string so and then do a pull off from four to two so you go and then again do a pull off from two to open okay so you have this once again And then just play on open three times. So you go two, three, and repeat it again. And instead of doing open three times, you do on the second fret three times. One, two, three. Okay, so from the beginning, open. Now 
the third time it goes like this so the beginning is the same right this part is the same this is the only difference so one two three four on open and twice on the second fret of the third string back to open okay so three four and then just do a hammer on from open to the second fret on the fifth string on the fourth string sorry and then twice on the open on the third string again okay so if you put that all together the first time you get this Okay, this part is the same on all three counts so okay open 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 second fret second fret second fret okay then just repeat this part one more time Next part of the chorus is again very easy. It goes like this. Oh, I know. Right? Then oh, just repeat it again. So basically, we're playing open on the third string, then we slide down from the fourth fret to the second fret. And then we do a hammer on from open to the second fret again. So you go open, slide down, do the hammer on, then slide down again, and then do open, and then you can go on the second fret and go back to open. And then in the end, down, you go again from open to the second fret, and then you repeat the whole thing. Okay, so once again. Right, and then just repeat it again. Right, so that's all there is um, to the melody part of the chords. Alright, so I hope you liked the lesson. If you did like the lesson, then please make sure to hit the like button. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you're new to my channel, then please subscribe. You would love it. Go to my channel. You can check out hundreds of more song lessons over there. Some of your favorite songs. I've covered them all. And um, I will see you guys next time. Till then, goodbye and take care.